Hello everybody, welcome to Brave the Wild. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird angle here, but I want to introduce you to the Blue Gemini stove, which is basically a copy of the Jetboil. Now I've watched a lot of reviews and stuff like that on different stoves and um, made this purchase pretty recently. I've had an opportunity to try it a couple times, but um, yeah, I want to give you a full review today and uh, let's get right into it. This is the bag that it comes with. Now I've put a few extra things in here because there's lots of space to do so which is really, really nice. I got my spoon here. I've got a windscreen in a bag. Now, you might think that's kind of weird, but we'll get into that a, bit, a little bit later. Let's take this out of the bag, introduce it to you here. The bag is actually quite durable. It's not bad at all. I like it. So it's a sort of a silicone um, lid. You've got a strainer. You've got a spout. Now, I tried drinking coffee out of this, but uh, personally, I didn't really like it when it was really hot. It just kind of came out a bit too quick, but uh, that's okay. That's my opinion. Now, I'll tell you one of the things I really like about the Blue Gemini, and that is the size of the pot itself. It is very, very large, allowing you to fit a four ounce and an eight ounce um, uh, fuel canister in there. Sorry, not at the same time. It's either or. You can either use the four ounce if you want to or the eight ounce. But I mean, it's, it's really, it's perfect. It's a perfect fit in there. So I'm able to get that in there. I'm able to get the burner itself and the stabilizer in there in one shot with a little bit of room to spare. Um, you can put some matches in there. You might even be able to fit a lighter in there if you want to. It's not a bad idea. Um, I wouldn't personally trust the, the piezo lighter and bring nothing with me. Uh, I, I just don't think that's a good idea. Um, getting into the stove here, you've got a little flip lid here for your on off. Now you, you can sort of simmer with this, but honestly, because the flame is so straight up and center, it doesn't disperse very well. Your cooking options are pretty limited with this stove. Um, with any of the jet boil type um, stoves like this, you're gonna have limitations. Um, but uh, let's just uh, go ahead and get into it. As far as putting it together goes, pretty straightforward. Screw that on. Didn't have a problem really. Make sure this is tight before you do that. Now I'll tell you where I had an issue here. Oh, let's go ahead and try this out first before we get into anything else. Now this is a tight, tight fit in here. So it's not going to be easy to get this on at all. And that this is you're gonna see me struggling here in a moment. Okay, oh, well, that's not too too bad. You know what? I think over time you, you just kind of get used to it. But I'll tell you, it, I don't know what I would do without this. This is this is such a wonderful thing. I've got it on a stone right now, and this stone is crooked. But I mean, I can sort of play with it with the wide legs and have it in different spots just because they're so flexible. So let's get into the part that I first discovered that I didn't like about this particular stove and I'll show you here okay <laughs> so you know what I'll be honest first time I tried this out I had to do that several times um, before it was gonna work and it was just a bit of a joke uh, so yeah I'm gonna pause for a moment I'll have to edit this out but I'm gonna wipe down the lens all right we're back I had to get the lens a clean so let's uh, go ahead and get some water in this and start boiling and judge how things are. Now this water is it's not warm, but it's not super cold. I didn't take this from the river. I've just got this from my water bottle. What we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with the equivalent of two cups of water. Another thing I really like about this is the way it gives you the measurements. I don't know if you can see inside of there. You've got the measurements, uh, you've got a half a liter, um, 0.8 of a liter, and then 1.1 liters. So this is actually well over a liter of water. Uh, the last line here, you can actually go above that line if you want to and boil even more. So this pot, in my opinion, is a monster. It holds a lot. So yeah, fantastic. I really love that because I cook for my family as well as for myself. All right, we're pouring two cups in here. One cup for food, one cup for coffee. Here we go. Okay, set that aside. 
Now, what we're going to do here is talk about the fitting of this while we've got it. This is the, um, uh, the assembly here uh, that you want to fit on top of there. So you look for the little divots, you line them up, you can kind of feel your way, and there you go. You know, it really doesn't have to be super tight. It's not going anywhere. I'm not hiking while cooking with this, so I don't really care personally. Now, normally I wouldn't want to actually put that on first. I'd want to light it, but we're just going to go ahead and do it the opposite way that I usually do. Okay, so the reason for that is you definitely don't want to do that first because it, it can build up and then I, I've had it go poof like that and it's not really good, it's not safe. So let's just get this started. Oh, here we go, see? A couple of times it was kind of tricky. Let's get that back on now. Okay, looks like we're good to go. Now, before I get this going, I'm turning it down. I'm going to get a timer going right now. And we're just going to get this timer started here. Let's get that started right now. And let's get this going. Full, full bore. Now, if you don't want to wait for this, obviously you don't have to. Uh, you can go right ahead and fast forward this. I'm just going to talk about different features uh, while this is boiling. Uh, I don't know if you can see the timer right here. Probably not, but that's okay. Um, let's see if I can put that in a better spot. Is that seen? Is that even in camera? Probably not. All right, that's okay. It's right there. Now, the one thing I found with this is that the burner itself is not very strong. And you can you can hear it's quite quiet, but it I, I get the sense that it isn't really uh, burning to the full capacity. Now, I contacted Blue about the piezo issue and about the burning issue. Um, they have a uh, an email and a text. I did both of those things and four days went by and they haven't contacted me. I will update this video or put something in the comments if they do contact me, but they haven't. And it says on their little pamphlet that they contact you within 24 hours. So I, I would sort of at this point rate customer service uh, pretty poorly. I'm uh, not too impressed with it. So we are at a minute and 25 seconds right now and we're boiling two cups of water with the blue Gemini. Now I like the neoprene sleeve around here. It's very easy to take off when you want to wash the pot. Uh, it's a really nice feature to have. It's wonderful to hold. You can hold on to this with uh, totally boiled water in there and your hands are just nice and warm. It's, it's not too hot at all to the touch. So coming up to a minute and 55 seconds now. Other than that, the features, not, not a whole lot else to talk about. Um, looking inside, I'm getting some bubbling. I'm getting a lot of bubbling, actually. We are very close to a full-on boil. Two minutes and nine seconds. And we're boiled right now. There you go. That was, that was at least, uh, I would say, two minutes and ten seconds is when I had that boil. And then the nice thing about it is if you're boiling water that is questionable, like you don't know what's in it, you've got cleptosporidium, you've got giardia, whatever kind of garbage might be in your water, you don't have to have it on full bore. Once that rolling boil starts, you can just have it low and then it'll boil. You really want to boil things for about five to 10 minutes sometimes, depending on what you may, may suspect in the water. Well, five minutes might be a little long. That might be the max. But yeah, so that's it right there. Um, a little over two minutes for two cups of water. I would say that, honestly, that is fantastic performance um, considering the conditions right now. I'm in Canada and we are sitting at approximately 7,000 feet. Um, I'm quite high in the foothills right now. There's a good strong breeze that's coming through here right now. Um, I found the performance to be quite good on this. And then, um, yeah, the temperature is about 19, maybe 20, actually possibly even less than that because it feels quite cool. I'm sitting here in the shade right close to the river. So I'm anywhere from, it could be anywhere from 16 to 20 degrees. Um, I don't know what that would be for you, uh, you US cousins of mine there in America. So uh, you can sort that out for yourselves. But yeah, that's the blue Gemini. Um, 
The cost of this in Canadian was $88 after taxes. Now compared to the jet boil, I would say that that is a really, really good deal. I'm very happy with it. Uh, again, the piezo is, eh, you know, I, I can live with it. Uh, it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it's finicky. It's really not the end of the world. I mean, you've got jet boil stoves that are $130 to $150, and they don't even come with a piezo. So you still have to be prepared, which is something I would always recommend. Uh, the best thing you can bring to light a stove is just a ferro rod. Really, strike some sparks on that, and you're always good to go. It's always reliable, no matter what the conditions are, no matter what you're doing. All right, I hope this helps. Um, yeah, God bless you guys. Get outside and brave the wild.